What if I told you the most advanced technology in China is not BYD, it's not Tencent, but actually Pony AI, which is the self-driving car company in China, which has completed 32,000 plus kilometers in China. Let's say Waymo has completed 100,000 plus miles, that is 160,000 plus kilometers in the US and China is of course one tenth of that level with Pony AI but Pony AI is leading it's going to be soon launched in Dubai and Europe trying to navigate outside US and outside China sooner than Waymo and today I'm going to take a ride inside that. So hi everyone I am actually using this taxi app called Didi to book a ride so if I close this app this is my WeChat I can tap on DD here, search for DD, order tax right here, tap on DD after searching for it. I have enabled translation, just give it a second, it'll translate. Uh, this phone has translated every app, so it takes a second, but it now has translated, and this is my ride. Today, I'm gonna try finally the self driving car Pony AI in China, and from here, I'm going to a stop where Pony AI, the self-driving car company, will pick me up because it is not everywhere in Shenzhen, China. So we are gonna take the ride from that pickup point where I'm allowed to. I can use WeChat as well, but I'm gonna use the direct Pony AI app. So to make sure that it is a self-driving car that's gonna pick me up. It's not completely as successful as it is in San Francisco with Waymo because Waymo has completed like, you know, 170,000 plus kilometers, 100,000 plus miles. It's not everywhere in Shenzhen. So that's why I took a taxi to come here to try it out. And I'm using Pony Eye app to book it. I've waited 600 seconds, 10 minutes already, still five minutes more, even in non-traffic peak times. Okay, there we go. I tried it and it's coming with a driver. Huh? Okay, now it's opened. Please enter the last two digits of your phone number to start your ride. Please make sure your seatbelt is securely fastened. I will say it managed. Huh? Pretty cool. Pretty impressive. I think Waymo is still far ahead. While robot innovation is crazy happening here, but not everything is perfect. 